Good morning. So unfortunately, uh, well, you know, um, uh, we couldn't film much because we had an 8-gig eight, eight card and I only had a couple of seconds left on it. But I reached into my bag and I pulled out a 16-gig one, which is currently in the camera right now. So I have a full nine minutes extra to film video. So uh, yes, hope you've, uh, that's relieved you viewers right there. Yes, okay. Let's get ready to go. Oh, and it's snowing. And look at it. Look outside. Look, look, look. It's a uh, focus. It's just covered with snow. Covered with snow. So, Scott, are you going to enjoy today? I should enjoy today. It's like only if the English became more efficient, like the Germans. Yes. We are supposed to leave at nine o'clock, and it's now nine, seven minutes past nine, and people still coming in and drifting through our house. Because we English are very bone idle. That's like true. Germans. Yes. So, Scott, how are you enjoying? You enjoying Arnie? Yeah, I'm halfway through it already. That's good, that's good. Yep. It's snowing. Well, it was snowing. Um, did, did you enjoy your, your hotel, your, your sleep? It was, well, except from one uh, certain... One, one particular individual, oh, this yeah, one here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it's generally quite nice, uh, very comfy. Uh, your sleep was not interrupted. I didn't come off to you. I just can't go on the back. Can I go on the back? Fly off. Yeah, the doors open for me, so I'm shutting Norris. Yeah, then you look up and he's like, oh, Whoa, it's a bit close. Bread. Bro, I love bread. He's eating more bread. He's just, he's just eating bread. He's just eating bread plain. It's lovely. Give me a whole French stick. I'll eat the whole thing. Bread. I have some, um, I have some, uh, Mentos, which are, which are cool. Which are cool. And some other things. Oh, We're getting fed up. Oh, he's got a six hour drive. Damn. We'll probably end up killing each other by the end of this. Wow, well, I'll kill you. I love the German countryside. Uh, a lot about the trip that we've just done to uh, Bergen Belsen because I think that the guides did a really good job and the exhibition was. Um, extraordinary and I know it has affected people quite deeply as it should do uh, and it's quite upsetting as it should be but I just wanted to say something about Anne Frank uh, that's the story that we've been following and we started off with uh, a story about a very individual girl who had so many ideas about her future and about her family
Oh yeah, sure. Ah. It's gone down. It's gone down. It's um, it's deformed. It's um. Oh, that was just one of those cooked as well. I'll put him there. Catch it. Yeah, I got it on video. So we've arrived back in uh, the Netherlands again, and the hotel. Well, it's okay. I think I might show you guys in a second. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's really late at night. Everybody's drunk, and I've been moving around people here and there and trying to uh, get things ready so they can go to bed. All right, Scott, so what do you think to this room? It's a shell. It's, uh, it's a bit bad, isn't it? Um, even prisoners have better accommodation. They have, I mean, they... Even the army's got better. Even the army's got better accommodation. And Scott was in it. Oh, I'm in it. I am in it. Well, you are in it, yes. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so there's, there's not even... The prisoners have TVs as well, which is, which is remarkable. But I'll show you something. You see, we don't, there is no soap. Um, and there's only one small light there. There's a uh, radio to hear from the Victorian times. Uh, there's a, well, there doesn't appear to be a shower apart from that thing there. Um, What's a shower in Holland? What's a shower? Yeah, a shower. They, they don't know what it, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have nice, nice uh, breeze block walls here, which uh, are perfect for insulating the cold. Um, yes, we have a nice, uh, we have a nice light here, which is very light. elegant in its appearance. Uh, and we have a nice window. Uh, we have a window, yes. Uh, and, uh, but we're just thankful we have electricity and water. Because, you know, as soon as we walked in here, I, we, we thought we would be in a... When I was entering this first room here, I thought it was a swimming pool of some sort. As you can see, the tiles on the floor. Um, yes. Uh, oh, yes, and the sockets. Don't, don't get me started on the sockets. There isn't even a single one of them in the, the room where the... Um, the mirrors are uh, outside the toilet where you can wash yourself. So uh, it's not good and uh, I'm just glad we are here for one night. Uh, but we're not going to t say what hotel it is because I don't want to give them a bad rep. Uh, I will tell you if you want me to. Well, you could or, you know. It's one in Eindhoven. It's stay okay, Eindhoven. It's crap. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you can see, people have been personalising the room here just to make it more interesting. Um, and. Um, yeah, so uh, I think the rest of them are drunk. Yeah, and as you can tell from my ex um, things I say, I'm politically insensitive. I don't give a crap about political correctness. So as you've probably learned since the whole of this trip, I will say what I think. And if the government doesn't like it, they can shut up. Yes. Because I'm that insensitive. Yeah. I don't care. Yes, that's true, you see. So we're just going to have to uh, live with it. And uh, tomorrow is our last day. So um, goodbye. Cheerio. Cheerio.